Francisco Super Tuesday results have some people saying there's a shift in the San Francisco electorate with residents looking for a change. As KTV's Christian Captain shows us, the city is taking a hard look now at the results to figure out where San Francisco is headed. With San Francisco voters approving Proposition E, granting police new powers, and Proposition F, tying drug screenings to public assistance, some are questioning if the city has shifted from its most progressive policies. Mayor London Breed, who backed both measures, says their passage does not indicate that the city is straying from its progressive principles in its push for safety. San Francisco continues to push forward our values in extraordinary ways, and we have not abandoned those. But we also need accountability. Supervisor Asha Safai, who is running for mayor, says the results show a city hungry for change. Voters want change. They want to see new leadership around all the different issues San Francisco's facing. People are concerned about public safety, rightfully so. They're concerned about the homelessness crisis on the streets, the mental health, drug abuse. Mark Farrell, the most recent candidate to jump into the mayor's race, also sees voters looking for change. Look, San Francisco needs to change directions. The last six years have literally seen our city crumble. We need to do an about face as a city. Incredible momentum, yeah, last night. Daniel Lurie, also running for mayor, says the policies that voters approved reflect a more nuanced snapshot of the city's electorate than simply looking at it as progressive or moderate. The electorate, the citizens and residents of San Francisco are absolutely absolutely looking for change from the outside. Uh, that's what we saw yesterday, and that's what they're going to get in November. San Francisco State University political science professor Jason McDaniel said looking at the election results to gauge if voters have fundamentally shifted their positions is too simplistic. He said the results need to be looked at in context. I wouldn't say that progressivism is out, but I think the, the electorate has certainly rejected some of the policies that progressive politicians and progressive organizations and leaders have been put forward. A Grow SF had pushed for a lot of the ballot measures that won last night. That organization said being a progressive city and a well-policed city aren't at odds. But the ACLU of Northern California said the measures that passed, Proposition E in particular, weakened oversight and undermined reforms that were put in place to protect the public. In San Francisco, Christian Kaftan, KTVU, Fox 2 News.